it's a concrete visualization of something that has been an idea and a concept for a number of years and I'm very excited to be standing here today uh, representing the new government saying that our international connectivity is about to take a huge leap forward. The capacity that these guys are bringing into New Zealand is it's actually 10 times the current capacity of Australia and New Zealand. So it, it's an absolute game changer. The kinds of connection that this cable represents are ones that create new possibilities. The economic opportunities of the future may very well be driven by the internet. This could include opportunities for Pacific Island countries to explore their tourism more, to do remote work. This cable is the kind of cable that's going to enable that kind of economic opportunity. We're very glad that New Zealand entrepreneurs are part of the driving force that is behind this cable and using American technology, American-made cable, and an American crew to make this realization of this dream come true. Now we've got diversity, we've got a much, much greater capacity, and frankly, you know, for New Zealand to be a player in the international um, landscape, it's just a critical utility now. You know, looking at um, the opportunity for Māori land block owners to, to connect, for schools in that area to connect, um, farming, fishery, ecotourism, that's the aim, and the Hawaii Cable landing within our area will give us the maximum opportunity uh, to connect wider to the rest of the world. Look, it's about connectivity. Uh, so New Zealand needs to be connected. But increasingly so, it's the, it's the innovation that it also stimulates in New Zealand's economy. As the Hawaii Cable passes places that New Zealand has a close connection with, there's the opportunity to link those Pacific communities to that infrastructure. That'll help them, and that's so important for the expat communities in New Zealand who retain links there. It changes the way in which we think about our business, our business models and the services we can take to our customers, particularly the focus that we have around data-intensive research. Yeah, so 2 ends advocates uh, the uh, advancement of New Zealand in the OECD rankings and having additional capacity and an additional cable in New Zealand will definitely enable us to grow in the OECD rankings for broadband consumption and connectivity around the world. The incredible growth in data intensive science in New Zealand is only growing our need for quality and high capacity international bandwidth. And so to connect New Zealand, science and research and innovation to the world, this cable project is absolutely essential. Yeah, I think it's massive for New Zealand. It adds an extra layer of competition into the New Zealand market. And with technology being an increasingly big part of our lives, to have something like this on our doorstep and to be part of the project is incredible, yeah. You know, Kiwis depend more and more on the internet, so really important to have that capacity and diversity.